to my YouTube channel, so today I'm going to be recording myself on my school until so I get caught. So, yeah, um, what you call it? If anyone sees this, like, I'll be back. I gotta go get the door. I want to just make you I didn't. I didn't. I didn't go, go to get him. You did go to make a box? Oh, is she back yet with the box? I'm just curious to see how it went. Quickly, no for everybody. Miss Harmony. Miss Harmony. I would probably have to ask my grandpa to go up in a few minutes when he comes upstairs. Okay. Okay. Because um, they're going to pass them out every day this week. I was just curious. Today okay. Day. Because I'm not there. So. Yeah. Uh, Get a meal. Get It's completely okay. I know people have busy lives. But I did post the times. So if yeah, I you saw really it. want to follow along with your books, I mean, you guys are going to have to go get them eventually. But if you really want to follow along with them, maybe starting tomorrow oh, even. Posting. There is time today. All day. It's time. I think if you're watching it, let us know. Tell somebody at home time. to try to go get those so today if you want them for tomorrow. If not, they'll continue to pass them out Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So you can get the books whenever you want. So by next week, we should all have our um, science, social studies, and math books. And then reading all of the books. Before we start math, we have like one more minute before I start recording. But I didn't even realize this morning, today is officially the first day of fall. No. -uh. I didn't even notice. I what like, the oh, heck? It's not the first day of fall. No. -uh. And I just Googled it, and today is the first day of fall. Uh, I think today's the um, third day of fall because it's been cold. Um, so I didn't even notice. I thought that was pretty cool, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So then tomorrow, I'm thinking my question of the day will be, and the morning share out will be, what's your favorite thing to do during fall? So we're not going to share that right now, but you guys will have a chance to do that tomorrow morning, okay? Yeah. Because right now it's 10 o'clock, which means that I should start recording. Oh, now it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> so hands down, we're not sharing it right now. I promise I'll give you guys time tomorrow morning, okay? All right, I'm going to start this and I already have um, on the screen the first page of math that we're going to be doing. So this week in math, we're going to continue with chapter one. And chapter one is talking about how to, different ways to add and subtract. Today is the first day that we're going to start thinking about subtraction. So remember, when you add, you gain more. And when you subtract, you take away. So this week for your math assignment, it's all about subtraction. Last week, you had all those slides that do with addition and you counted on. This week, we're going to be counting backwards. And so we're going to talk about a few ways how to do that, how to think about that. And remember, for when we're doing adding and subtracting, I don't mind which way you prefer, but as long as you get the right answer. So today, we're actually going to start by looking at a number line. And the first question it asks, it says, how can counting help you find 12 minus 4? Use the number line to show your work. So I really like using the number line, especially when we're dealing with numbers that are bigger than 10. Because when I have numbers that are 10, I can just count back on my fingers. Guys, but can what everybody the heck hold up 12 fingers so right now? Like, what the heck? You only have 10 fingers, so you can't hold up 12 and count backwards. So this is when we would use a tool, like a number line, in order to help us find the answer. So let's stop and think. 
How can we use this number line to help us solve 12 minus 4? What would the first thing that we would have to do be? What's the first thing that we have to do? Dude, I love the hand. Go ahead, honey. What's the first thing that we have to do in order to solve this? What do you see? Uh-oh. Okay, so she accidentally hung up, but hopefully she'll be back in a minute. But everyone should be stopping and thinking, because if she doesn't come back in 30 seconds, I'm going to call in a different friend. What's the first step? How do we start solving this? Twelve minus four. All right, Jalen, buddy, I'm going to go to you. And if she comes back in, maybe she can agree or disagree. Oh, here comes Judy. Judy, Judy, Judy. Welcome back, Jude. Jude, do you want to try to unmute yourself? And then, Jalen, I want to hear from you, too. Or, yeah, Jalen, go ahead. And Jude, go ahead. Okay, so... I want, I love that idea. Let's keep that in our mind. But what's the first step? What's the first thing before we have to come backwards to eight? I'm confused. How did you get there? Jude, go ahead. I called on you first. And Jalen, I want to hear from you still. So keep your mic on. What's the first step that we have to do? What number should we find on the number line? In order to solve 12 minus 4, Jude, what number do we have to find? We have to find the number 12, and then we have to go um, backwards. Okay, so Jalen, did you find the number 12 first, and then you went backwards? Did you solve it the same way that Jude Oh, I know what it is. It? Okay, cool. So let's see if we start on top of the And we jump back backwards four. So we subtract. Everyone try to hop in your in your chair. I don't know how you stand up and jump. But when we subtract, we're gonna go this way on the number line. So everyone hop over this way. So we're gonna hop backwards, we're gonna count backwards four. So we're gonna go from twelve. All right, so thank you for sharing. Just make sure that you're on mute now. So that's one, two, three, four. And you know what? We end up exactly at that number that Jalen shared out, number eight. So when you use a number line, that is one way to look at 12 minus four. Another way that I want to show you guys is if we take it and we do the opposite. Uh, no, okay, so let's go ahead and I'll switch up the color. So this time, I want to try to find four first. What happens if we found four first? Because four is also in the math problem. We started with 12 before. But now what happens if we start with this number four? And then we count up until we get to the number 